Hello, and welcome to another Something Different. I'm your host, The Social Solipsist, and on the list of many, many, many games that I have been told are good and should play is Her Story. Uh, this is an FMV mystery adventure game, um, and uh, I think it's reasonably short, so it feels like um, I want to continue the trend of playing not too many super long games at the same time. Uh, so I was just looking through the catalog and this was on the short list. So let's let's see how this goes. Some uh, very 90s looking UI. Looks like uh, Windows 95 or 98 there. Probably 98 given that I've got uh, whole more than 256 megs of storage. Damn, it's a nice computer. Um, I Oh man, I really don't like that the, <laughs> the glare of the screen and the, uh, the dirt on the monitor is built into the... Uh, built into the graphics, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can... Oh. I can... Oh, I can fix it. Alright, let's see if I can deal with it for a little bit, because it does add a certain aesthetic, but uh, I think I'm going to have to turn it off eventually, because it's... Um... Anyway, uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, you are logged in off guest. Enter query to access archived footage. Search terms. It's already been filled murder all right uh i guess we'll just search there are four clips all right um what is quer oh query history okay all right so um the whole thing is a series of interviews uh as far as i know it's just that and then you're supposed to sort of investigate um so let's see add to session user tags blank okay so those are the ones I could add myself I guess um. you think it's murder I mean clearly it's murder what can I do to help uh, well for a first clip that's definitely suspicious first questioning then clearly affirming it oh it is 90 this is set to, set at 94 uh are they all that old i guess we'll find out presumably uh let's see yeah that's me but i play that was months ago what's that got to do with simon's murder that was seven months ago and we now know the person who was murdered is named Simon? Okay. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. This was two months later. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. That's confident. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. Okay. All right. So that's our that's our starting place, huh? Let's see. What are these other? Oh, oh, okay, here we go. I should have clicked these first. Introduction to the logic database. Computer technology is the backbone of modern police work. The logic database is one of the many continuing efforts to digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be most, to be most valuable item in your crime-fighting toolkit. I'm missing a word, but whatever. This database contains footage transferred from the existing homicide and serious crime tape archive at Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using our ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to the court. The audio has been digitally stenographed. 
I mean, I guess so. It's stenography. So, um, and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in a word, e.g. robbery, into the search field. Click search and the database will return all clips in which the speaker uses that word. To narrow a search, use multiple, use multiple keywords, e.g. robbery supermarket. If you are working from a printed transcript, you can be even more precise. Use inverted commas, uh, so they mean quotation marks, to search for an exact match against the entire statement, e.g. yes, I was there. To store a clip for later reference, click add to session. I'll, uh, also, if you wish to add additional tags of your own to help future searches, please click in the user tags box and type your desired tags. For any further assistance, please contact your department's information technology representative, police information technology organization. Okay. Really read me. Hey, here's the database. I filed a freedom of information form to get you a guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes in 99. 1999 and then the Y2K thing hit and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective footage on. Possibly this tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97, but figured this would be enough. Take your time. Okay, so this is post-2000. So maybe the... I guess that kind of makes sense because the aesthetic of this... Well, actually, actually this gradient looks very much like... Um, the old install wizard uh i'm, I'm turning this off because it, it's hurting my eyes um and and this will get me a clearer picture of everything anyway um the this looks like oh southeast constabulary uh so we don't know southeast where but based on the some of the words they used and constabulary i'm guessing this is british i mean also her voice but you know um do we have an actual time limit? Oh, wait, no, wait. That's not even the right date. Uh, that's interesting that the date's wrong. Um, but, uh, okay. Um, Hack.nfo. I can't even read this. Oh, it, I think it's G A, G A. I can't. G R. G R A. I can't. I can't read that. The second word is hack, but. Uh, mirror game. Hsoft cracker. I mean, this looks like an old uh, like piracy and NFO file. One for the mums here. Classic two-player strategy for lunchtime gaming. Enjoy. That's a whole cracks with class. All right. Uh, I apologize. My neighbors have decided to kick on their music because they're just wonderful people. Um, okay, uh, do I, I mean, no, no reason it has to stay there. Database checker. Oh, volume missing. Interesting. So it's a partial database. How do I relaunch this if I close it? Or will it? Oh, that's the same as log off. Okay, so it's treating it as the same as the computer. All right. Um, okay, so we've got four clips to start from, and we're not given a lot of leads. We're just sort of, the implication here seems to be that we are uh, either this is a cold case or, um, well, I guess the computer is for the Southeast Constabulary. Whether that means we are... Uh, a detective of some kind or not? Not entirely clear. Let's rewatch all these clips again. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. It's missing some words. What can I do? I to mean, help? clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Okay. Yeah, that's me. But 
Edward, and that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Uh, let's say... Let's add that tag because it's about February. Um, this is from January of 94. So this is presumably February of 93 that the picture is taken. Um, oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Nope, this is British, so I have to remember this is... Okay, so it's February of... Or th this video is not is the first of uh, what is that July ninety four uh, because they do day first uh, and this is June twenty seventh and July third so this is after that one also July third okay I didn't murder Simon you've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Wrong person. All right. The, she mentioned Simon several times, so we'll search for Simon. We don't need to tag everything with Simon because it'll presumably come up on its own. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. So she being is pleased her being flippant about it and being like you Just oh please stories. So we've got stories I wish I had a, a text file I could write in um, cuz we've got like we've got stories and we've got weapon here those are going to come up anyway so oops that's not what I meant to do Hopefully that's saved. I hit escape twice and it cr just exited out of it. All right. Um, so let's, uh, let's see here. Um, that's the only time she mentions a weapon. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. I guess we you could find out if she ever requested a lawyer at any other time. And all these stories. Okay, so this lets me scrub. Just that. Stories. Okay, so a couple of other mentions of lawyer, mostly on the same day. Let's see. Are you going to arrest me? No. They'd laugh you out of the building. Which this is the day before. This is the, that was that was the second. This is on the third. Yes, I understand my rights. No, I don't need a lawyer. Smug. Yes. No lawyer. What are you going to arrest me for? All right, let's see about arrest. Uh, is it just five? Is that it? Looks like it. Okay, hold on. Like I said, this is I think I was popping the out to first, get something. Ran out first of something. Of July. Had to grab something. I sometimes drive too fast. If you want, you can arrest me for that. Like I said, I think I was popping out to get something. Ran out of something, had to grab something. Why does she say something three I times? I sometimes drive too fast. If you want, you can arrest me for that. Maybe we look up her driving record. Or whether she mentions driving again, rather. This is a nicer room. This is where you take people when it's time to arrest them. Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? What? Why are these... Why, a lot of these clips seem not useful. 
I assume that these are all pre-clipped, that it's not like segregating individual sentences or chunks of like our paragraphs from her piecemeal as I search them. Um, but that like this clip on its own just doesn't seem to be meaningful in any way. Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Huh. Weird. Okay. Um, let's take a little break and, and we'll come back and uh, keep pecking at this. <laughs> 